Welcome happy campers, it's me Amanda here with Cookville RV and Marine and today we're taking an inside look into this 2022 Forest River Flagstaff Superlight 529 RKB. But before we get started, don't forget, hit that like button while you're here and that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell notification icon so you get notified when we post a brand new video. But I'm super excited to step into this very interesting fifth wheel, so stick around and we'll get started. Here I am right at the front entrance. It is the only entrance to this fifth wheel, but it is very conveniently located. We are right next to our stairs and our hallway of sorts, but it also houses all of our controls. So all of our slides, we have three slides and two awnings on this and all of your controls are here and all of your lights are at the bottom. Super easy to sort of understand and see if you've never worked one before. And we even have a air conditioning and max air fan remote. So if you wanted to shut all of your max air fans before going to bed, just put this right next to your bed and you won't have to get up. So that's really convenient. And we also have a fan in this particular model and the switch is right there. So that's really great. But RKB and our best guest is rear kitchen and bar. That's right, this is the bar area. It is not the kitchen, the main kitchen for this fifth wheel, but check it out. It looks so awesome. We have this bar top style with two chairs that come with it. It's very a good height. It's right in my hip height, but it may be a little bit higher for some people. Down here, we have this awesome wine fridge. It comes with the extra LED lighting on top of it, and it does actually secure for travel, so you don't have to worry about that coming out or coming open when you're going down the road. And we have lots and lots of storage space, so check out this, and all of these cabinets just so happen to be a pretty good size for no matter what kind of bottles you're looking for. Um, there aren't any sort of accessories in here for anything like that, so this is pretty much a blank canvas. You can use it as a bar, you can use it as an office space. Maybe you're presenting some different things, or maybe you're teaching your children at home. This is a really awesome area to customize for whatever you need, and there's even more storage up under our TV that has a little bit of backlighting. I really like that and it is on a swivel so it can be pulled out and moved around if need be. And then finally back here, we have a little charging tower with two USB and two wall plugs as well. Also in this area, we have a really nice large window. And another thing about this camper is we have our dimming shades. Each of the windows have two shade options one dimming and one completely blackout. Say you have your students sitting here and you wanna make sure that they don't get distracted or if you're sitting at the bar with friends and you wanna see outside to your wonderful view, that's an option too. Now there are two slides in this entertainment space we have in our main space and this one houses our trifold sofa option. So yes, this folds out into another sleeping space probably folds out about this far, so it would pretty much take up a lot of this space to walk through, but of course that's a late night thing. You always set up the beds, go, to, go right to bed and everything like that. Also in this slide, we have our dinette option. We have a freestanding dinette. I love the colors of this dinette and chairs, and it looks like this table pulls out for a little extra extension if you need some more elbow room. And of course, don't forget, we have our dinette lighting and lots and lots of windows in this slide, but let's check out the other one. On the opposite side, we have our entertainment space and part of our kitchen in this slide, but check out this fireplace they put down here. It's an accent vinyl stone like, so it really has some texture to it and it makes this fireplace pop. I'm sure with all of the colors that this turns into, its flames and its logs and everything, it'd be a really pretty look. Up here we have our indoor outdoor speaker system with two speakers here, so that makes it a really awesome movie space. And above we have our Insignia TV. It's a smart TV that's on a swivel, but also check out all of this extra storage space. I mean, there is stuff here and up here, you can fill it with whatever you need and you can close it and no one will even know that there's storage behind here. How awesome. Now onto the kitchen. First thing we notice is this really awesome island. It houses our sink and a nice black faucet here. Up top, we've got some of those added extra accent lighting and I love that they make it feel just like home. And down here on our island, we have lots and lots of storage, even an extra shelving option down here. 
so that's really awesome check out these residential appliances we've got a nice big fridge here it's a GE fridge but of course these things change so double check before you purchase moving on we have a really awesome three burner top stove with these beautiful backlit knobs here in the back we've got more tile look vinyl and we've got a vent above it and our microwave everything's pretty standard over here and even a small drawer to hold your pots and pans or anything else you need We've got all of our supplies, tire pressure monitoring systems and everything that comes with the camper in here, so don't mind the mess. Moving on to the actual back of the camper here, it houses two things, a really awesome bar area or coffee bar area and a really awesome pantry. Let's check out the storage down below. We've got four drawers here, an extra thing and Check out this trash can. It's a sideways mount, so that's really awesome, but you can only hold one in there, but I definitely don't see that as a problem. We have lots of countertop space back here, including a nice big window, another charging station, and a singular light here. These cabinets are also very big, so this may be where you opt to put some of your extra linens. If you have an extra guest staying, this would be a really awesome place for that. And our pantry is so big that you can walk into it that motion sensor lighting will pick up whenever you're trying to go pick something up they left plenty of space here in each of these shelves to put dog food an air fryer or any other things you want to bring along and there's definitely more space if you wanted to add some extra emergency storage to the top of this you can and they even added an extra hook for your broom or mop that's really awesome because everyone knows how much you spot sweep during the day so it's right here and there's actually a place for it. So how convenient. Once again, we just wanna showcase how versatile this floor plan is. It's got a really nice kitchen with residential appliances, a full entertainment space to watch movies or play video games, and this added entertainment space for a bar or just a hangout area so your guests don't feel obligated to get in the middle of your way when you're cooking. This gives them a really awesome entertainment space with an extra TV if you need it. And they can even stay for the whole weekend. You'll have a place to put them. But let's look at where you will be staying in your master bathroom and bedroom. Now this is the only bathroom of this fifth wheel, but it is mighty. We have a side mounted sink here with a really deep, what looks like stainless steel bowl. And I love the black finish of the faucet to match the kitchen, but below, we have a little extra storage, but definitely not big enough for a trash can. And they even added a small compartment here in the door. Just trying to add to the storage, but we've got more behind our toilet here. Plenty of space for your towels and supplies. And they even added an extra cabinet up here just for extra medicine things you may need to keep. And we even have a medicine cabinet behind our mirror up here with an extra like selfie light to the bathroom so that would make doing your makeup just even better as i'm stepping into the shower i notice that the wallpaper here is sort of a herringbone or you know arrow pattern of sorts i really like that they added a little extra personality to this so the walls aren't all just boring and the same it's a little bit of an accent wall but i'm standing in the shower as you can see i'm five foot eleven maybe six foot you know it's it's up in the air really um but i can fit in the shower 100 percent and i really enjoy these frosted doors of course they latch so they don't go everywhere while you're going down the road we have a really large seat in the shower so that's awesome for convenience purposes if you, that's on your must-have list and we've got a removable shower head i like the stainless steel and a few extra places to put your soap and things so this checks out completely let's go check out that master our master is located down the hall right next to our bathroom but check out this bed area I love the accent pillows that they give with this camper instead of getting regular pillows because we all know we bring our own with us I love this little area too because we have two separate lights with their own switches and two outlets on each side as well for charging accessories, phones, laptops, or anything else you need. Each person has their own window that opens for some cross airflow, but there's also two more windows in this room, so you should be able to stay pretty cool in here. But let's check out the closet space. The closet, as you can see, has two mirror front sliding doors. They're very sturdy and the track they have is a really good quality one, so I really enjoy that. We have a light switch here for a light that turns on and you can see both of our shelves that go all the way back and all of this space 
And we do actually have a washer dryer hookup in here so you can add a combo unit, but you'd have to use the door the other way, but there's definitely room for it. Over here, we have more shelving options, or you can take out the shelf and use the hanging rod. It can be your wardrobe if you would like. If you have that unit in there, you can definitely make this where you put your clothes. So that's pretty handy. And we do have two additional drawers at the bottom, and they even added a dresser in front of the bed with four extra drawers and i really like this uh top of the dresser that they made it look like the entertainment space outside so it sort of keeps a cohesive look but let's look on the outside of this camera and here we are in the outside on this very cloudy beautiful day here in tennessee you can see that we have two large awnings on this fifth wheel so we have two different spaces we can take advantage of it, whether it be over here next to these gorgeous frameless windows and the outside speakers or we can set up over here next to our storage our pass-through storage and uh, has that extra awning again both awnings have an led light strip so this is going to keep the party going all night and there's even a few extra things on the outside that you can add accessories onto as well as maybe a flagpole or a mounted tv and there's even a outdoor shower in the back of this but let's look at the storage in our pass-through storage as you can see it's really large it's uh fully finished so pr you can easily spray it out or clean it out sweep it out whatever you need also as far as accessories i talked about that bar that you can add extra accessories this is actually a small table so this would be perfect for uh, appetizers or having some drinks if people are standing up and, and hanging out this table just slides right to the outside of your camper and you can put it back under here when you're done so that's really easy we have some hooks already installed for some of your important tools to make sure you have emergency slide coverage and your convenience bay is located on that side which is the opposite side from your entrance but again everything's labeled super easy to use and there's even more extra storage next to your convenience convenience bay so it looks a little bit oddly shaped but I can imagine this being the husband's dream it's right next to everything you need when you get to the campsite so maybe you have an organization system with all of your tools I don't know whatever works best for you but I definitely think this could come in handy but what do you think drop a comment below and don't forget to like this video but if you have any questions give us a call here at Cookville RV and Marine or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits